Hey guys, welcome back to Comic Talk, I'm Matt Kay, and today I'm going to be talking about Youngblood Issue 1. I'm doing this issue for one of our longtime viewers who has always been nice enough to comment and like our videos. They have been asking us to review a couple of comics for a while now, and due to time constraints I personally haven't had the chance to. That being said, I do not know much about Youngblood at all. All I know is that this was a team um, that appeared in the very first Image comic that the brand released and that Rob Liefeld, the famous comic book artist known for his very accurate depiction of the human body in comics, helped create them. Essentially, when I read this, uh, it was completely new to me, but I could tell this doesn't seem like a relaunch, but more of a continuation from a previous volume where things have changed drastically. So pardon me if I miss out on some references or big reveals. Like I said before, I'm just a simple noob hoping to learn more. The issue itself focuses on Petra Gomez, a young superhero also known as Gunner, who is searching for a missing friend and fellow superhero, Man Up, who went missing after responding to a notification on Help, an app that I'm assuming allows superheroes to react to trouble. We see this app in action as Gunner does various tasks and get re gets reviewed, which is kind of neat and pretty realistic. If superheroes existed in real life, you can't tell me there wouldn't be a phone app that rates their services. This issue also talks about the fall of Youngblood, due to a variety of illegal activities and we see what some of the members have been up to. Two of the former members are doing very well for themselves, Die Hard, a cyborg, and Vogue, whose powers I'm not too sure of, are President and First Lady respectively, so good for you. Shaft, however, is not and is currently stuck in prison with newspaper articles in the background looking like they could be referencing other teammates. We also see Bedrock, who is crippled with disease and is teaming up with Shaft after he is let out of prison to deal with a new group of teens taking on the Youngblood name. I believe Doc Rocket and Sentinel are legacy characters, as their predecessors appeared in previous Youngblood issues, but don't quote me on that. This team is fighting Prime Condor, a supervillain that has the ability to control birds and apparently the son of the original. This isn't going well for the team as Condor actually manages to use his birds to implant hypnotic pos uh, possession with flight patterns. In the end, Condor gets taken down with multiple arrows to the shoulder by with Shaft, appearing in full costume. There's also a backup by Rob Liefeld, showing these three guys come from the future to check up on Shaft and find a book three days before the event of the issue. Overall, I feel like there is definitely a lot more going on in this issue than I know. Um, it seems like this book is going to be about a new, younger team of young blood and some veterans coming together with two main characters being Shaft and Gunner or Vogue since she changed her name halfway through the issue. Neither of them have powers, so their relationship can turn into a, either a rivalry or a mentor-mentee relationship. You just gotta wait and see. If you have any questions, this is the true power of YouTube comic community, where it really comes in handy, as I don't have a lot of knowledge on this team, so hopefully someone out there can be a good neighbor and help you find the answer. Once again, I'm Matt K. Thanks for watching, and see you guys next time.